Hey everybody, uh, welcome to Art Stop PH. My name is Mary Manzano and I am here as a host and I'm joined by Fabrian Morales, who's uh, our chief curator for Art Stop PH. Tonight we are doing Brush with Artists, which is uh, on our season 10 episode, no season two, episode 10. I wish we were at season 10. All right, I'm going to bring in Fabrian in a few. Give me one second. And also tonight, we are joined by uh, Benedict Reyna, by Marielle Garcia, and hopefully we'll, we'll be joined by Ted uh, Peña Flor as well, okay? But I'm still not sure. But right now, everybody is on the backstage. So we're just gonna bring you into the stream right now. So everybody, if you have any questions at all, for tonight, all you need to do is to now be able to flash your comments and your questions on the screen. And right now we are live on the YouTube uh, page of Artstock. We're also live in the Facebook Artstock um, PH page, as well as on my page. And and, uh, and welcome. Okay, give me a second. Let me just uh, push this on. Okay, I'm back. Everybody, okay. I just got, got popped out of my own stream, right? That happens sometimes, you know? So, hello, everybody. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Hi, everyone. Hi. Hello. Hi. Ayan, I would like to say hello to everybody who is joining us tonight. We've got Jen Lazaro. Uh, hello, good evening tonight. Ayan, we've got Lou, we've got Tiff, you've got uh, some. Um, Hello. <laughs> some of your My friends. <laughs> friends, and Ken J is also here for Marielle. And I'm pretty sure that some people are going to be um, joining us later and saying hello. You know, when, when you have fans, ganyan talaga. All right. So I'd like to uh, introduce Fabrian, like I said, who's our chief curator and who was the one who curated our very recent exhibit called Cognitive Dissonance in Artstock PH. Hi, Fab. How are you doing? Hi, everyone. I'm, I'm good. Thank you, Mary, for having me again. Um, it's nice to be back. <laughs> yes. But yeah, we missed you doing, doing really great. And we're really excited for, for the artists of Dispatch, um, Cognitive Dissonance, uh, to everyone who's watching right now, if you haven't checked it, please take a look at the collection, and uh, mm -hmm. these are really exceptional works. I agree. I totally agree. You know, I have this habit where every single time that there is an exhibit, I try not to look at the paintings until the last minute, you know? And um, and I really like being able, yeah, so I like being able to, um, like surprising myself, you know? How are you, Marielle and Ben? Hi, I'm good. We're fine. <laughs> Oh, I can. A little bit of a lag. Mid nag ano ba? Naririnig niyo? Yeah. Okay naman kayo. I can hear Ben clearly. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. I think I may have a little bit of delay. I'm not sure. Sa but sa so, hindi. Ah, I'm Oh, oh. Ah, okay. you're okay. Cool. Miss <laughs> Mariel lang, Miss Mary. Oh, ano? 
Oy, okay. Yeah, I'm actually wondering because the in the past episodes yeah. to everyone who's watching uh, and everyone who's been following Brush With Artists in the group, I'm always the one who's who ha- who's had bad internet. <laughs> no, wala. So I'm glad to be I'm glad to be um, crisp and clear tonight. So I'm really happy to see you again, Benedir and Marielle. Uh, it's been a while. And uh, thank you for thank you. making it to yeah. Brush with Artists tonight. Thank you for making time. Um, while we're waiting for Mary, and uh, what happened to Marielle? I'm here. No, no. She's still with us. <laughs> <laughs> last time we had an interview, no, actually not last time, but the very first time we had an interview with uh, Marielle, we had some, some difficulty with her um, audio. Internet. And I'm really glad that we can hear her properly now. And uh, Benedir, this is your first time for, with Brush With yes, Artists, so. no? Yes, so. oh. And the, thank you, how, thank how, you. how do you feel being on, in an online, in an online show? <laughs> so. Well, actually, this is my first time na, ano, na, nasa online show ako since live stream siya. But at the same time, I'm excited na may showcase ko yung, yung ginawa ko na, na painting. Especially nung, ano, nung first time, nung message mo ako, tapos sabi nyo, you're, you're choosing for the exhibit. Sobrang uh, na-hype ako dun sa, ano, sa message mo. I'm really, actually really happy when you said yes. Um, <laughs> guys, do check out Benedir's pieces. Um, really reminds me of um, landscapes from fantasy books. And the first uh-huh. time I saw his work, I, I told myself, wow, so I, can, I can imagine how many works he can create for my favorite fantasy books <laughs> or for D&D hope, character for example i hope oh i hope i hope na mag yung ano yung yung artwork ko is mag surpass din siya hindi lang sa painting kasi ang daming media eh, sa sa art so gusto ko siyang ano yung mag evolve sa iba't ibang klase ng ano ng ng genres so that Mm-mm. siguro marami mas maraming tao din yung ano yung makakita tsaka maka-experience ng artwork mismo Yes, I really, and that's also why we're doing Brush With Artists. And uh, if Mary is here with us now, I probably, yeah, she can hear me. Yes, bumalik na would tayo. agree. She would agree oh, that Brush With Artists. Pero naman si Mariel. Oo. Uh, na, natanggal yung uh, connection ng mic niya mm. and cam. So I can oh. add her to the, uh-oh. So, Marielle, if you can hear us, you need to reconnect your mic and cam. Uh, I actually had to restart. That's why I was gone for a few minutes. So, thank goodness I'm in a Chromebook. So, that means restarting is quick. <laughs> so, I had to, like, completely restart my machine. Okay, naman. Sorry, guys. It's just been... Yeah, um, much, much better now. Much better now. Thank you. I had, like, this oh, really better. weird lag a while ago. So... Uh, more often than not, I never really turn off my machine. And I think that's one of the reasons why. I don't know if you do the same. I sometimes just put down the the screen and that's it. I don't shut it down. Same, so, same. Yeah, mm-hmm. diba? And it yeah, really no. affects the machine after a while. <laughs> Again, so I do have uh, your profiles right here. And I just would like to... I'm waiting for Marielle to come back on um, to our stream. She's just gone from the backstage right now. But since we have uh, Ben right here, so we've got your very brooding uh, photo. <laughs> yes. <laughs> your uh, super brooding photo of Benedict Ray. Actually, yung... Yes, go ahead. Yeah. Actually, yung, yung about the picture, friend ko talaga yung pumili niyan. Kasi lahat ng mga, <laughs> yung mga pinapili ko sa kanya is, sabi niya, you're you're too serious with all the photos. Tapos, mm-hmm. parang pinili niya yata yung nakasmirk lang ng konti. Sabi niya yan, pwede na yun. Actually, <laughs> I, I don't... Know. You don't smile. I don't really smile malimit sa, ano, sa photo. Oo. Unless, oh, gusto ko talaga, I mean, yung 
talagang totoo na masaya talaga ako nung time na yun. Doon doon ako nag-smile. Pero usually talaga, na yun medyo na ano ko, naasiwa ako. Oo. Well, well, there's some oh, people yeah. who actually are like that. I mean, there's a before I I couldn't really if I look at pictures of myself for a long long time I never really took pictures of myself because I never thought of myself as photogenic. Alam mo yon for the longest yeah. time for, for the longest. Minsan ganon eh pero uh, you would see photos of yourself. My friend din ako nagaya mo hindi talaga ngumingit eh and then. Um, Nakaka, nakaka, nakakaroon lang siya ng photo na nakangiti if candid. <laughs> Kailangan oh, talaga candid yung photo. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Yun, para makapture. Ayan, sabi ni, ano, ni Mariel, nagkaroon daw ng electrical fuse problem sa kanila, biglang namatay. So, <laughs> that's why. Makakabalik siya in a while. But, it, um, so, let me just... Siguro si ano na lang, si Fab. I'll, I'll let Fab, Fab uh, do the introduction of Benedict. Um, okay. okay. Ayan, sige. So, earlier, so, earlier uh, uh, away, Mary, we, me and Benedict, we were talking about our first interaction. And uh, I reached out through, uh, through Instagram because when I saw his profile, I told myself, okay, uh, his art is perfect for the narrative of cognitive dissonance. And I'm really a fan of his work because, like I mentioned also during the launch, I'm really a fan of fantasy. And the way I see his pieces, it really reminds me of the books I've read. And uh, Mary would know this because she's my she's my book pusher. Same <laughs> 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 She knows every single fantasy book that I've read because yeah. it's all yeah. from her. And seeing Even Benedict, mga classics? Sorry? Even I, classics? I do love sci-fi fantasy. So I push oh, okay. kung ano yung... I tried pushing, uh, di ba, book pusher. That's going to be my new Twitter profile. <laughs> oh. Mary Manzano book pusher. So what I used to do was I tried to push different types of books to fab until she uh, she bit and then so par- <laughs> and then so parang hino convert mo siya parang oh ito 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 and then finally meron siyang nakuhang gusto niya and then i went ooh hmm. okay oh ito pala gusto mo oh pag mga ganito yung gusto mo ganito rin yung mga iba recent, a very recent example just this afternoon we were having coffee and i was in a hurry hmm. cuz my crab is already waiting outside and she went Fab, I uploaded three new books and I really think that you will like it. Check them out. I'm like, maybe I need to run. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs> so, that's an example. I, uh, yeah, pushy. totally. I, mean, I saw your, when I saw your work for Cognitive Dissonance, right? Mm-hmm. Um, uh. And the, the funny part about it is I just read um, a sci-fi space opera type with a very convoluted love story included and i mm. i thought about and i thought about your work because it's interstellar mm. love and, and i'm going oh, God, that is so like um so perfect for the books that i just recently read so for those of you who are wondering it's um uh, the diabolic series by sj kincaid and it's uh so far i i cried which i don't do <laughs> <laughs> so oh. if it made me cry, it means it's a it's a pretty um, heart wrenching uh, story, but amazing world building, uh, amazing mm-hmm. world building. So if you're a fan of sci fi fantasy space opera, check it out. It's uh, the Diabolic by Jake and Kate. But more on that later. <laughs> so right now but you were saying, of, Fab, yeah. Yeah. Speaking, yeah, of fantasy, fantasy, speaking of fantasy, you know all of those you know, emotions we emo- read in fantasy mm-hmm. novels. Benedict's piece for cognitive dissonance actually is a very emotional piece. And when you look at it, uh, which we will show later, when you look mm-hmm. at his piece, it's it has a very surreal, dreamlike feel. And you actually feel like it's part of some book. Uh, at least yeah. that's, that's how it made me feel. And just to give you more background uh sorry to tell you more to our audience to tell you more about benedict benedict um also teaches art and uh, 
he identifies as a how do how do I say it? etherealist? Is that right? Yeah. And uh, later, I, uh, yung, actually, yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, yeah go you ahead. can talk. <laughs> yung etherealist so, na yung etherealist is friend ko rin yung nakaisip. Actually, ano nung nung time na nagkaroon kami ng art um nang nagbebenta kami sa art in the park parang nag-message siya bigla grabe sobrang ethereal nung artwork mo tapos sabi ko ano yung ethereal sabi search mo google mo google mo tapos ah okay gets oh tapos parang oo nga sabi daw sabi niya oo nga etherealist ka nga kasi parang sobrang bagay din sa ano din sa team na ginagawa mo but before hindi ko hindi hindi talaga siya yung 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 definition na hinahan na hinahanap ko or inaasahan ko din sa mga painting ko but as as it goes parang yung mga friends ko yung mga ano yung mga naging fans ng artwork is nasasabi nila oo oh, nga sobrang heavenly sobrang divine sobrang ethereal niya so doon nang nanggaling yung etherealist na ano na the name sa ano mm-hmm. sa artworks ko that's nice and you see that I'll- that's how you know when your art is actually evolving and developing. It's when people mm. start to associate and actually invent words to describe your, your visual yeah, style. Yeah, it is, it is. Yeah, it is. And it helps then. Yeah, I love for that. For example, for Samin, as an, as an artist, kasi minsan may mga, may mga pinipaint kami, especially sa akin, kasi uh, sobrang big sa akin yung ano, yung yung internal uh, world ng tao tsaka yung emotions na nagko-combine doon. So, mm-hmm. may mga emotions tayo minsan na hindi natin ma-explain in words. So, mm-hmm. minsan kapag nagpipaint ako, parang it, it just goes with the flow. And then, later ko na lang nalalaman, pagkatapos ng painting, may mga nagre-react, may mga nag, ano, na, nagko-comment sa akin or nagme-message sa akin, ah, ganito siya, ganito yung word niya na bagay dyan yun, or dinidescribe nila sa akin, which is very nice kasi nakatulong siya para i-explain ko rin sa tao kapag in case na uy, uh, ano, yung, ano yung yung story ng ng artwork mo. Mm-hmm. Ayan. So, it's 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 kind of ano, um, parang collaborative yung mm-hmm. yung pag-discover ko dun sa, dun sa art style kasi pinutulungan ako ng mga friends ko at at the same time yung mga yung mga nag, nagko-collect ng artwork ko is ganun din nag nagsasabi rin sila kung ano yung feel nila talaga dun sa painting. She's also mm-hmm. nice. Yeah, it, it will be because um I feel that this is always what Fab has been telling us before and I think for those people who have been mm-hmm. following Rush with Artists and Art Stock for a while, you guys know that we curate our artists, which means that we uh, as much as we would like to accept everyone who actually apply we can't because what we want to make sure of is to get um, uh, a set of curated artists in art stock ph who have already discovered their visual style and who have continually developed it and are still developing it so that's uh that's basically our primary criteria more than anything that's the major yes criteria right so it's not really about whether you're you have a, a following on social media we those are um secondary to the fact that we need artists that have already developed that style so like what you said if people are calling your work as ethereal that's really nice because um it for me ethereal etherealist uh, works have always uh, symbolized a certain hope you know, and positivity, mm-hmm. which uh, which is very much needed nowadays, <laughs> right? Um, I just want to tell you guys that while I was reading, almost towards the end of the third book of that um, series that I was telling you about, Fab, I actually came across the phrase cognitive dissonance, and I just laughed out loud. <laughs> I just laughed out loud. I finished it yesterday. So I'm just going to read it. I, I have my book right here. So um, so the line was like this, um, remolding the lie into a narrative so absurd that it strains the ability to believe in it. Cognitive dissonance, I think, that is what the philosophers once called it. 
I want to break that instinct to subscribe to the dictates of a reality that does not exist by creating a false reality so ludicrous that belief in it cannot be sustained. I love it. When I was reading it, I went, ooh, <laughs> this Beautiful. is our exhibit. <laughs> so Fab, if you, don't, uh, if you don't see the signs, that's the sign <laughs> that you must yes. read it. <laughs> yes. Actually, yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know if Maria's coming back on because her PC died. That's what she said. But I am going to show Interstellar Love Struck. Um, this is uh, the work of Benedict that is in our Cognitive Dissonance exhibit. Right. So um, I'd like to know more about it. So can you take us through um, this painting? So in so yung inter yung interstellar love stuff. Can you hear me? Yeah, sige. Yes. Yes, you can. Yes, Ayan, you can. Okay. Actually yung yung interstellar love stuff is about nagsimula siya sa ano sa nung naging naging fascinated ako sa space, sa floating, uh, yung anti-gravity na things. Tapos kay actually if you if you know Jeremy Gibbs Ano siya, uh, artist siya na purus floating people yung, yung ginagawa niya. Tapos at the same time, meron siyang specific na artwork na sobrang tuwantua ako. Mm -hmm. It's about this ano, um, cosmonaut, which is a Russian version of, a, of um, an astronaut sa NASA. Mm -hmm. And then, mm -hmm. parang sobrang peaceful lang niya, peace, sobrang peaceful nung pagkaka-float niya. Na parang, na maski na uh, yung may mga team siya na na nabasag na yung helmet niya, which means na mawawalan ka ng oxygen kapag nangyari yun. Parang yes. sobrang peaceful pa rin siya. So parang at the same time, dun, nag, ano, dun, dun parang nagkaroon ng spark yung, ano, yung, yung way kung paano ako nagpakalma. And then it, sa Interstellar Love Struck, uh, that's one of the, the inspirations. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, nung ginagawa, yung the Interstellar Love Struck is actually old painting na siya. Mm -hmm. Old sobrang old intuitive painting na siya na ano um ginawa ko siya out of desperation dati kasi syempre may, may may times ako dati na naging ano naging depressing yung ano ko na burn out ako sa trabaho. Tapos mm -hmm. dumating ako sa point na parang gusto lang gusto lang ng soul ko magpahinga and mm -hmm. everything kasi ang daming and ang daming Ang daming pressures, ang daming, ang daming sinasabi na dapat mong gawin. Tapos parang at the same time, yung little voice sa loob mo, sinasabi niya na hindi, hindi yun yung dapat mong gawin. Hindi wag ka makinig sa tao at the same time. Parang naglalaban silang lahat. Which is, nung ano, kaya nung, ano, nung, nung time na nagkaroon ng cognitive dissonance, nakatago lang talaga yung painting na to. Pero nung first time na nainisip ko kung ano yung painting na isasali ko, and it came to my mind na Ah, ito, ito yung sakto. Kasi noong time na yun, ano, ah, yun yung time, yun yung era na I'm still thinking kung ano yung sasabihin ng ibang tao sa, sa akin. Ano yung mga expectations nila sa akin. Which is parang minsan nakakalito na rin. Kasi pag kinausap ko yung sample, yung grandfather ko, iba yung, iba yung gusto niya sa akin. Yung lola ko, gusto niya ako maging pare. Pero hindi ako naging pare. Yung, yung parents ko, iba rin. Siyempre, kasi parang I, I don't know, basta iba iba siguro iba iba yung ano yung naging yung way nila para makita nila yung life ko. But at the same time, sa loob ko, uh, deep in my my heart, my my psyche, parang merong ano yung still small voice na sinasabi nila na sina, na lagi niya sinasabi na create your own path. Even mm -hmm. if you don't see where you are stepping. Mm -hmm. Basta parang lagi lang lagi siyang lang lagi lang nagpapakita ng susunod na step. Yun lang, dire-diretso lang. Minsan nagre-reklamo nga ako sa kanya, ba't kasi ayaw mo na ipakita lahat yung, ano, hmm. yung, yung pathway, but hindi siya nakikinig sa akin. Pero at the same time, every time na pinafollow ko yung, yung little voice na yun, nagkakaroon ako ng peace sa loob ko na maski na, alam mo, matanggal ka sa trabaho, maski na iba yung sabihin ng tao sa'yo. Mm -hmm. Nagiging, ano siya, nagiging, inside you, peaceful ka, na dun na... It doesn't matter if if yung tingin ng tao minsan sa'yo is dapat yun yung tama. 
may mm-hmm. mga times minsan na ano na feeling mo mali yung ginagawa mo pero at the same time peaceful ka dun sa ginagawa mong mali which mm-hmm. is weird diba I, i mean example na lang pagdating sa society natin may may tendency yung society natin na kapag mas marami ibig sabihin mas tama sila mm-hmm. which is hindi yun hindi yun palagi hindi yun yung palaging case may mga times na hindi ganoon yung case may mga times na alam mo sa sarili mo na mali yung ginagawa ng society pero at the same time Mm-hmm. hindi mo kailangan umuo o nasa sayo pala kung, kung oo ka o hindi or gagawin mo siya, di ba? So, yun, yun, yung, yun yung time na, na siguro yun yung time na first time kong na-experience yung cognitive dissonance na right. until naman ngayon nangyayari pa rin siya kasi di ba, may, parami pa rin namang ano, marami pa rin namang cases na face basis sa buhay natin na nilalabanan mo minsan kung ano yung yung morally right na sinasabi no nung conscience mo, sabihin mo nung conscious mo, something like that. Mm-hmm. That's right. Uh, I agree. Kasi Ayan. parang, I've always been saying to people that I know, I'd rather be right than popular. So, the popular vote doesn't mm. necessarily, it doesn't, uh, it's not necessarily correct. Uh, so, you have to really listen to what your, what your heart tells you, what your instinct true. tells you, because at the end of the day, Uh, you're only really responsible and and can control your own actions. You can't really control the actions of other people. Yes, other you people can influence, well. but you can only control your own responses, your own actions to things. And so when you try to, I really feel now cognitive dissonance is a uh, super ano yan, super relevant yan ngayon. Because there are so many who mm. uh, who become nurses because but they don't really want to be <laughs> alam mo yon gusto lang ng buong pamilya nila ayo naman talaga nila di ba marami mm. eh. para from from the time that you're a kid there are certain expectations of you of us basically as humans uh, our parents expectations our teachers our colleagues our peers and more often than not it it really causes a certain form of anxiety that um Toto. Toto. yeah and then it doesn't really give silent, you peace silent, until you silent. find your ano eh medyo silent key silent siya, anxiety siya. Siya. Oh, oh. Toto. parang every time na ano every time na may ni ano may dinadagdag sa load mo yung kumpaga sa pagkatao mo yung isang tao ayaw oh. mo siya pero at the same time may culture yung Pilipino na parang kapag mas bata ka, kailangan mag, ano, uh, itago mo lang sa sarili mo. Pero subconsciously, ang nangyayari, nadadamage mo yung sarili mo kasi nawawala yung original na ikaw. Natatakpan mm-hmm. siya na natatakpan ng, ano, ng ibang expectations ng tao. Mm-hmm. Which is, yun siguro, minsan kailangan din nating hukayan ulit, pabalik. Kasi kalimitan siguro yung uh, kalimitan ng mga tao ngayon, ng mga tao, which is yung nakaka- experience sila ng depression uh-huh. is because social media sabihin na lang natin na ito dapat ikaw dapat maging ano ka maging famous ka at the age of 20 at the age of uh, 15 nga minsan eh 12 or something like that and then uh-huh. we get depressed sa sa ano sa uh, kasi ang dami na ring nakikita na abat uh, sila ano na ang dami na lang nangyari sa buhay nila pero ako nandito pa rin ako ganyan pero pero the truth of life yung reality ng life kanya-kanya naman may oras tayo eh meron yung iba 70 years old 90 years old sa so, doon sila nagbo-boom meron namang iba uh, ang dami ang dami nilang ano ang dami nilang failures parang set, uh, 50 years old na sila bago sila talagang nakita na na na, na, na discover yung sarili nila so uh-huh. Ayun, kaya siguro dun balik tayo dun sa painting. Kaya din siya barrage of arrows at the same time. Kasi siguro yun yung ano, tapos di ba heart yung ano, burning heart yung parang tip ng arrow. Kasi yes. uh, yung yung arrow na yun, parang sinasabi nila palagi na, sinasabi ko, kumbaga yung, yung relatives mo, sinasabi ko sa'yo to kasi mahal kita. So mm-hmm. parang yung arrow is like... Um, Ah, uh, parang sinasabi nila na ito yung tama sa iyo, ito yung ano sa iyo, yung yung dapat sa iyo. Ah, uh, parang act of love 'yun. Pero at the same time, hindi nila nare-realize na ano double edge siya. It's either makatulong sa iyo yung sinasabi nila at the same time, 
matalo din uh, ma- matalo din nila yung kung sino ka talaga originally so uh-huh. yan, like si, si girl di ba parang nung tinamaan siya sa sa ulo parang nung nung realize niya na ang kailangan lang niyang pakinggan is yung yung nasa sarili niya yung yung within sa kanya parang nagbabanish na lang lahat ng araw sa kanya hindi na siya tumutusok talaga as in uh-huh. yan katulad nung ano nung sa painting nagbabanish siya parang nagiging light na lang siya kasi hindi na siya tinatablan or yung common sense na sinasabi natin na sinasabi natin pag pinagalitan ka pasok sa kabilang ano tenga labas sa kabilang tenga <laughs> kasi nga kilala mo na yung sarili mo ngayon kung ano kung alam mo naman na may mali ka syempre yak holy yeah, kasi makakatulong naman sa iyo di ba pero yung kung magkakapag yung yung sinasabi nila na uh, constructual criticism siya pero alam mo naman na hindi talaga na parang sinabi na talaga nila kasi talagang gusto ko na lang i-down. Yun, labas ko tayo sa kabila or parang kailangan mo lang siya i-vanish in a some way. Ayun. Correct. Sobra, I just, uh, um, I just have to to say ha, that the, the visual representation, uh, the, the one that you mentioned earlier, the arrows disappearing because now you realize that um, what you have inside you is what's important and then obviously you can choose which ones to believe or like to like which advice to take that are external mm-hmm. but i think that the visual representation for that the arrows disappearing i think that's really beautiful and uh, thank you I, I hope i hope you keep creating more paintings with with representations like that because it's such an interesting yes, yes, uh, thing for like say for example if you release uh, a series of paintings and then you would you would have all of these tiny details and tiny representations that would wow people when they hear the explanation it's it's really nice then it dear for a good ano ano no? para siyang uh, easter egg para siyang easter egg no so marami kang hanapin Easter egg, the diba? mm-hmm. one, parang uh, mm-hmm. you didn't know that's what it meant, <laughs> right? So I really yeah. love it. Yeah. Thank you so much for explaining that. And I didn't know na yun yung story niya. And this is yeah, what I really, like about Russian artists. Uh oh, parang oh, alam na ni Fab yung ano si Fab na magsusulat. Sorry, pinigyan ko na trabaho si Fab. <laughs> 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 Ayan. Thank you so much. I think everybody also they uh, they appreciate. Um, they appreciate the story also, Benedir, because yeah, Tiff was saying so true. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Sabi ni Tiff, these personalities to reform us the true essence within us. And sabi yeah. ni Lou, yeah. I am glad I got to know you, Master Ben. Stay strong. Sabi <laughs> ni Ano, thank you, Lou. Ayan. <laughs> Master. Ayan, thank you so much Actually, again, guys. Actually, magaling din sila. Yung mga. Yung mga, fr- yung mga friends ko, magaling din sila. There, ayan. Sign up na. Punta na sa artstopph.com. Mag-sign up na. Sign up as an artist. Ano lang dun sa baba. Meron pong sign up page. Oh. Send your application. Send your time, send your time to time to be discovered. Yeah, it's it's time for um for you to be part of Brush with Artists. Ayan. So thank you so much, Benedir, and I'm so happy thank that you. Marielle is thank back you. also, and uh, she's back. Thank you. Marielle, okay ka na ba? Ayan. Okay, okay na. Ayan. Siyempre, pinupo pa rin ako. Sabi ko, huwag magpupo eh. Ayan, by the way, guys, sinasabi ko sa lahat ng tao, ayan, huwag akong pupupo eh. Ayan. Ang hirap eh. Ang so hirap far, mawala. <laughs> mahirap eh. Mahirap mawala eh. Nasanay na tayo. Nasanay na tayo. Mm. You guys are not my interns. I always tell all of my interns that. That's day one. Ano ba pa? Day one, that's the first lesson they learn. You do not call me ma'am. No, you don't call anybody in the company sir or ma'am. You call me by my first name, just call me Mary. That is uh, the first lesson they learn. Talagang tinitingnan ko sila ng masama kapag minamam nila ako. I'm not saying it's bad, you know, but historically, um, if you're gonna be in a co- the corporate world, just call mm. people by their first names. Mm. Unless they're knighted, guys. They have to be knighted before you call them sir. So, <laughs> here, um, I've that got cool. Tamariel. That would be, cool. <laughs> That'd be cool if they really are. Ayan, take it away, Fab. Poor Marielle. Seriously, do I really need, do I really have to introduce this girl? <laughs> of course. So, yes. 
you our audience, the people who's been watching Brush with Artists, I'm pretty sure you guys are already familiar with Marielle Garcia. But if you are not yet familiar with her, Marielle Garcia is um, one of the visual artists that um, I would say is part of our pioneer batch. And uh, I'm really proud of I'm really proud of this girl with her progress through the first time I met her and until now. She's uh, the illustrator of the book Kaina, an illustrated guide to Philippine food, which you guys should definitely check out. And uh, her pieces <laughs> her pieces always feature a mixture of anatomical and botanical subjects, which you will also see later in her piece for cognitive dissonance. Okay. So let's, Mary, let's take a look at Marielle's piece. Okay. Ayan, before anything, okay ka na ba, Marielle? Let me just uh, move my okay slide over here. <laughs> okay na, okay na ba? For anybody, by the way, who would like to get... Um, <laughs> Ayan, if you would like to get a copy of this presentation that we actually have right now, you can um, you can check that out. I do have a link uh, to it. You know, I, I just I just give away links, <laughs> so people, you just um, go ahead and check it out. I'll just flash it. Just give me a second. Ayan, so it's bit.ly slash bwa s two e ten. Okay, because of that, we are at episode two, episode, no, season two, episode 10. So if you want to get a copy of this presentation, then um, that also contains the link to our catalog for cognitive dissonance. So basically you get the profiles if you just want to see the profiles of the people that we have today, as well as a link to the, uh, to the catalog. It's right there, bit.ly slash BWA S2E10. Ayan, Marielle, um, we are of the banks group now. Ah. Na-inspire ako sa'yo, kaya ako nag-banks eh. Ikaw talaga yung reason ba't ako nag-banks? <laughs> Ayan. I, I, have your, uh, I have your painting right here. Give me a second. And let me just flash that onto the screen. Ken Jay says, good luck. Ayan, thank you so much. It's supportive. There, so from the uh, abyss. So from the abyss is... Uh, your piece, which is in Canvas for PNP. Um, there. So, can you tell us a bit more about this? So, um, just like um, Sir Benedict's painting, this one is also like symbolical. Mm -hmm. um, the as usual, Marian Pering spine, made bones, made flowers, the usual Marielle style. So, ayun, yung spine here represents usually metaphorically speaking um yung spine is like nag represent the responsibilities sort of like that so ayun this this painting is really personal kaya ayun nga yung tanong last time ni Miss Fab bakit may self portrait and ayun Parang pinapanood mo yung sarili mo na inaahon yung sarili mo dun sa abyss, which is the chaos. Mm -hmm. And syempre, um, para ma-motivate ka in life, parang ilulukbak mo na lang ano bang pinangahawakan mo sa life, which is your dreams, mm -hmm. Ayun, yung flowers. Mm -hmm. mga petals na naglalaglagay ano parang nagre-represent ng shattered dreams mo na nagka-fertilize dun sa lupa na yun mas talo ka na motivate in life okay, I like that I like that you know it still has a use gusto ko yun eh na parang okay when you make mistakes and when you fail it doesn't mean that that's not gonna go anywhere it's gonna go towards like more achievements, diba? When you Parang when you fail, can you? Oh, oh, I really feel na parang there's no success without without it. There's no success without failure. Um, mm -hmm. and talam din ni Fabian mm -hmm. ang isa sa mga motto ko is fail fast and fail forward. Yep. So fail, yeah, forward. fail fast, oh, fail, fail forward. forward. 
Mm, kailangan talaga fail fast, fail forward ka. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. It's one of the reasons why I am so, I'm always um, both honored as well as uh, very happy that we built Artstock PH because artists throughout the ages have always been the voice that gives, um, you know, it, artists give voice to everything, to the real truth, the truth of things, diba? Because they're not afraid to make mistakes. They design things. Mm-hmm. They try to solve problems, express things in its in their own reality and their own truth. And so without uh, censorship, without fear, uh, yun yung mga... Kasi diba sa cognitive dissonance, isa yun sa feeling ko malaking bagay din yun na a lot of people would conform, would want to conform. Diba? So they would do what is uso or uh, mm-hmm. they would uh, mm-hmm. paint what is not really their style but what is selling. Diba yung mga ganun? And sometimes hindi like, talaga ikaw yun. <laughs> diba? Kompromiso. Pero in the end, um, it's not really gonna help you. Like being true to yourself is going to help you the end of it. I love it. Uh, iniisip ko bakit kaya may minimi ka na umaakyat dyan sa spine mo. <laughs> Tapos yun pala yun. <laughs> Sabi ko may minimi si Maria. Parang pinapalit ko yung sarili. Dito sa mga rin. Oo, totoo. It's okay. Pagano, pero yun talaga eh. That's life. Um, pero maganda doon, alam mo yun, you're removed from it. Yun yung, nung tinignan ko to the very first time, sabi ko, if I was gonna watch myself climb something, and if I was removed from myself, watching myself struggle through things, <laughs> di ba? You already know the top of it. You basically know this is the path, it's gonna be hard. You're gonna struggle. You can see the path, it's, it's difficult. Pero sige lang, <laughs> go lang. It's a very similar fab to what I was telling you about before, about my rubber duck. For those people who know me, they know that I have a duck. Uh, I'm like Jan Rocabiles, one of our artists. We are both duck lovers. We like rubber ducks. And I like rubber duck debugging. We, we have something called rubber duck debugging, where you talk to the duck. Um, why are you going to talk to the duck? Because more often than not, when you... When you self-talk, you don't self-talk right. Kunyari, pa nagkakamali tayo, lagi natin sinasabi, ba yan, ang tanga-tanga ko. Bakit ko ito ginawa? <laughs> diba? mm. When, in fact, we should be kinder to ourselves. And when we self-talk, we should self-talk right. And can I, we, can I, uh, go ahead, Benedir. Go may ahead, Benedir. Sinabi sila na, may sinabi sila about dun sa, sa word na kapag may ginawa kang ano, katangahan. Sabi nila, um, minsan mali daw yun. Dapat ang um, ang um, alter way para sabihin daw doon, ang tanga-tanga ng ginawa ko. Hindi siya direct sa'yo. Uh-huh. Or uh-huh. in case dun sa mga friends mo, ganyan. Kasi parang, andum, any, any, maski naman daw mag- mis- magkaroon ka ng mistake, technically uh-huh. yung, yung worth mo, same pa rin siya. Parang yung crumpled money, kapag yung 20, crinample mo siya. 20, 20 pa rin siya, rin. maski na uh, 20 pa rin siya, di ba? So, same pa rin siya yun. Madumi, yun pero 20, <laughs> di ba? No, but Totoo pareho yun. pa rin siya ng worth, di ba? Oh, I just, uh, the, reason, uh, the reason why I brought up the duck is because, um, the only reason why I brought it up was because of that self-talk. And the other thing is, I sometimes talk to it pag kailangan ko ng motivation. And the very, very first time that I was introduced to it, I had to talk to the duck as if the duck was my past year self. Kunyari, if the duck mm. was my self last year, like November of last year, alam ko na kung ano dinaalan ko this whole year. Pero yung duck, di niya alam yun. <laughs> so I would talk to the duck as if, oh, kapit lang, kasi it's gonna be a tough year next year. I already know it's gonna be a tough year. So it actually boosts my confidence talking to a duck. Telling the duck that, you know what, it's gonna be a tough year, but you're gonna go through it. You're gonna go through an entire year where you will not really go out much, but um, you're going to be stuck at home. I mean, who would have thought November of last year that we would, we would be stuck all throughout like this year, diba? Right? But I talked to the doc that way. Right? Oh. Oh. Diba? And looking at that, parang alam mo na yung dadaanan mo eh. 
kung alam mo na yung dadaanan mo, alam mo na magsa-struggle ka, it will actually give you confidence that during this last year, we got through that. And we got through it. We didn't just survive, we thrived. And we went past our uh, challenges and we were able to overcome that. So yun yung isa sa mga gustong-gusto ko. And I really like this piece. Uh, congratulations to Mr. Gerald for... <laughs> Uh, ayan, kasi ayaw niya, tago na lang natin siya sa pangalang Gerald. Hello! <laughs> thank you so much. I know that you're watching. Uh, and thank you for um, sponsoring one of our artists. Ayan. So, um, we're, uh, we're uh, 45 minutes in and um, I'd like to thank everybody who uh, who joined us tonight. I know that we don't have Ted Peña Flor around and we hope that we can get Mr. Ted um, one day. Ang sabi ni Mikey, by the way, uh, hindi mo malalaman kung hindi mo susubukan. So it's a learning process. Totoo yan. Kaling mo, Pinta. Rather than, katangahan. Ayan, narina nga pala to. <laughs> Ayan. <laughs> Great Ay job. So I'd like uh, to just let everybody know that all of the pieces that you see right now they're all available in art stock ph some of them may not be but um, if you would like to check out the entire um catalog you just have to go to bit.ly slash art stock ph exhibit three let me just uh, show that to all of you right now it's just loading give me a second so that's uh gonna be um the catalog so ito po yun. Pakita lang natin. Ayan, nakikita ba ng lahat? There, so this is the Cognitive Dissonance Catalog. All you have to do is to go to bit.ly slash artstockph exhibit 3. Diyan po kayo magpunta. And you will get a, a copy of this catalog. You can download it as a PDF if you like. But you can just go ahead and um, also go through the catalog um, on your own. So pwedeng dun na lang sa web doon na lang sa website kasi nandiyan yung buong catalog natin. So, oh, yun here na, the cat um yan, 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 yan yung cognitive dissonance natin, ano? So, uh, we have an about there who's running art stock. It's just really me, um Cam and Fabrian. So, kaming tatlo, um the three ladies of Art Stock PH. So, if you ask um anybody, lahat kami may trabaho, pero ginagawa pa rin namin ito because this is it's really a passion project. And this is a passion project for us. So for those of you who are watching, you can click on any of these photos to get to the art that you want. And every art page uh, also has um, a link as well. So, so if you go th through uh, these pages, Last week, we had Annalie Angeles and Aubrey Kaabay um, on Brush with Artists. So ito po yung exhibiting artists natin for Cognitive Dissonance. We have 14 amazing artists um, and you'll be able to talk to them and see them until December 17. So every, every week, we will have Brush with Artists every Thursday. So, balikan niyo po kami next week. Andito po ulit sila yes, by next week. So, ayan. So, ito po yung ating um, artists as well as um, their artwork side by side. So, ito po yung kay Annalie, um, kay Aubrey. And then, of course, we have Benedict, um, Reyna uh, with Interstellar Love Struck. If you want, ayan, i-click niyo lang yung add to your collection to add this artwork to your collection and you'll be able to get to art stock ph pag may done at the bottom of the website and um and most likely ako po yung sasagot doon kasi ako yung nakabantay doon sa site so um i'll be the one to answer your questions or you can just go to at art stock ph anywhere in social media on twitter on facebook on instagram even linkedin we are there and check out our uh, catalog and check out the cognitive dissonance uh, exhibit we're really really proud of our artists so proud of the artwork that they've created. Ayan. Diba, Fab? Yes. Anything you want to add? Uh, actually, no. no <laughs> so nothing. I'm, yeah, I, I, I'm really... I just want to tell the audience that uh, please watch the 
following episodes of Touch with Artists because it's your chance to know our artists for cognitive dissonance. You get to ask them questions and you actually mm-hmm. um, get to see their art. You'd be able to hear their narrative of their own pieces. So that's something that you wouldn't want to miss. Exactly. I agree with that. That's something that I really like to hear. I always look forward to brush with artists because of um, the stories. Yeah. Yun lang. So, um, Benedict and Marielle, we would like to thank you for joining us again for thank you. Thank you. tonight. And I hope you guys have a lovely thank you, thank evening. You. For our uh, yeah. friends in the U.S., happy Thanksgiving and uh, have a great happy Thanksgiving day. weekend. Happy Black Friday have a great tomorrow. Black Friday Please weekend. try and be <laughs> safe when you go on your Black Thank Friday sale. <laughs> okay, have a great <laughs> shopping <laughs> weekend. All right, everybody. I'd like to say uh, good night and thank you again. <laughs> good night, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye.